welcome back to another video. This is a video that's going to show fitting a supercharger to this 1500 midget, which has not been run for a number of years. It's got 36,000 miles on the speedo, uh, but yeah, it hasn't been run for a long time. I think it's been in a garage for the last 20 years. Uh, looking at it, it was yellow. See a little bit of yellow paint there. So I don't think British Racing Green is the original colour. Don't know if it runs. So first job is to get it running and then fit the supercharger on it. This is the 1500 midget, so it's the Triumph based engine. So first problem we've come across is with most old cars is this rear brake is seized on. i push it in the workshop and not moving very easily so we're just going to take this drum off and see what's happened there obviously we'll be changing all the brakes going over it putting it for an MOT uh, to make sure it doesn't really need anything and then it will probably be for sale at the end of this project as well just trying to get this drum off so we can push it inside so just giving it a bit of a wipe over inside and um, outside and we put a battery on it, battery goes back there. Um, and it does turn over and all the lights work, which is a surprise. So we're just gonna put a bigger battery on so we can get some fuel through and uh, get all pressure up and see if it will start. So we managed to get a spark, but the pump diaphragm seems to be knackered so for now I'll just put it on this electric pump I'm just going to give that a try it's alive even the rev, rev counter works get moisture out of the exhaust no smoke spinning. Speedo is uh, slightly variable. Anyway, the knocking noise is that wheel. Because it's not held on properly because we took the drum off. Yeah, that. That's when you choke all the way in. So we've managed to um, get the rear brakes working. They look like they were overhauled shortly before it went into storage or into lack of use. Uh, there's a little bit of rust in places on that pillar and sort of surface rust. I think that's where it's been under sealed, but everything sort of flakes off. There's no holes or anything. Uh, I think it's had a plate welded in there before. Uh, brakes seem to be working, but we're going to get some uh, calipers, discs, pads, new flexi hoses, and um, and whack those on. Um, yeah, just giving it a bit of a check over to uh, see what's involved, what list of parts I need to get. A 
bit of polishing on that rear wing, which has come out pretty good. The unpolished, polished. Um, just with some mopping paste, we give the whole thing a bit of a polish up. And we get the bits. I think it needs a radiator. The radiator doesn't seem to be that good at cooling the engine. Um, looking around the engine with a digital uh, infrared thermometer, we're getting different um, readings across the radiator. So I think the radiator's got some blockages in it, so we put a radiator in it as well. Um, when we uh, start doing the super co supercharged conversion. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm just going to put up a graph now of the power that it made. Uh, we were a little bit down on standard. I uh, haven't really gone through the timing. It was running a little bit lean. Um, but yeah, I think we should get 100 horsepower, maybe 120, 130 foot pounds of torque with the supercharger on in part two. So we've just done some basic setting up on the engine. We've removed the air filters. It's got a temporary electric pump at the moment. Um, and just done an oil filter, oil and filter change. And set of spark plugs, but still the old leads and everything, just to get a base um, power run from it. So let's give it a test.